Hey gang, Anthony Fontana here. Just wanted to touch base real quick. Um, you know, we're in the process of cleaning uh, a room up. We're going to try to convert it into some useful space. And 90% uh, of my books are in boxes. Uh, and I'm trying to figure out, you know, where I can put them while I'm working on this room. Uh, new carpeting, painting, and uh, maybe some furniture in there. But I was looking for one of my books that um, tonight, it's called Think and Grow Rich. I have probably 15 copies of this, but I was looking for the original copy of it. Hi, Abner. How are you, buddy? The original copy uh, was, I think, I think it was a copyrighted early 60s. I found it at the age of 16 on a garbage pail. I was walking down the block to one of my friends, and um, it was a box of a book sitting on a garbage pail in Brooklyn, and uh, I walked over to the box because it looked like some interesting stuff, and on the top was this book. And it was yellow, uh, yellow cover, and it said, Think and Grow Rich. I'm like, wow, what a pretty cool book. I took it. I put it in my pocket, and I read it that weekend. I remember uh, later on uh, in the week telling my best friend, Howie, at the time, you know, Howie, I, I, I found this book, and I read it. It's called Think and Grow Rich, and it told me that, you know, I'm going to be a millionaire. And my friend Howie, you know, we were, we were musicians together, we were best buds, and he said, yeah, what are you going to do, like sell drugs? I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. The book said... Uh, all I have to do is think about it, picture the money in my mind, and um, I'll have it. But it also says I have to figure out what I want to do to, to earn that, but haven't quite figured that out yet. But I think it's a pretty cool book. I think you should read it. He said no. He never did. I don't think he did anyway. Um, haven't seen him in a long, long time. Uh, he lives out in California now. Well, I remember that book because I read it all the time. It, it's actually been sitting uh, on my nightstand for many, many, many years, and I just recently put it in a box, and I shoved it into uh, this room, and I, I pray it's in there because it's kind of dog-eared. I don't want it to get damaged. The reason I love the book, and I'm thinking about doing this, um, and I don't know if anybody would be interested, but it's 13 chapters. The most important aspect of the book, there's a secret in the book that's revealed in every single chapter. Uh, Napoleon Hill talks about this, and he was mentored by... Uh, Andrew Carnegie uh, back in the early 20s and he went out without pay for, for 20 years was not paid by Andrew to do this interviewed 500 of the most famous and wealthiest men of his day uh, guys like Henry Ford and Thomas Edison and uh, President Roosevelt it's an amazing compilation of ideas and uh, the, the the book itself is a condensation of a much thicker book um, uh, I think it's called the science of success uh, the Laws of Success. It's a very thick book. Uh, but Thinking Grow Rich is a, comp it's a combination of all those chapters about this big. Well, anyway, the most important aspect of the book, the secret that he does not reveal in the book, he actually leaves it out there for you to figure out, is whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe, it can achieve. And the 13 principles pretty much cover each aspect of that idea. And I think it's critical that anyone read this book. I mean, seriously, if you've never heard of it, which you, you probably did if you're on my Facebook, but if you have never heard of it, I encourage you to go get a PDF of it. It's free. You go online, type it, and you can probably get a free copy of it somewhere. Uh, my goodness, if you really, if you can't find it, uh, text me. I'll see if I can get you a copy of it. I, I will send you a copy of this book. It's that important. The, the first chapter and the second chapter, for me, were the most important one. The first one was desire. You have to have a really tremendous desire to accomplish something. Earlier today, I put a video out on LinkedIn uh, with regard to today's economy. And hey, Joseph. Hi, Joy. Hi, David. Again, I, I put this. I put the video out. It was. It was more about the opportunity that exists today with the internet. I didn't have an internet when I was younger. I didn't have an internet ten years ago. I don't think. Right. The internet that exists today. The apps that are out there, you know, the Apple products, the Google products, all the Amazon have created an environment where anybody sitting on a couch with a great idea, with a great vision can actually create a business from scratch with literally nothing. And they can go ahead and build that business. So we didn't have that back in the day. I certainly didn't have it when I found this book at age 16. But this one book has motivated me all of my life with everything that I do, because I run through the phases that are in this book with everything that I touch. All of it begins with a desire, a burning desire to achieve something. There can be nothing stronger in the human mind. You see, your brain is, is the most complex thing in existence, right? 
your mind is more than just a bunch of protoplasm floating on top of your neck. It, it's, it's, a, it's a tremendously engineered machine designed to yield whatever it is you need to accomplish whatever it is you want to accomplish. So when you read a book like this, or pretty much any good self-help book, this is the best one in my opinion, it will, it will give you the skill set and the tools and the knowledge that you need to go ahead and, 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 and do what you need to do. The first one being a desire. The second one, and I'm going to end on this one, is faith. Faith is the substance of things hopeful, the evidence of things appearing real. Faith is the, 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 the idea. It's the vision. It's the thought that whatever it is that you're thinking, you will have or actually already do have. We can dive into this at another time. and I'm, I'm kind of hoping that there might be some interest in doing it because I may do it just for myself. I may take each chapter, condense it down, and we can go back and forth on it on live broadcast. Or maybe even on, uh, maybe we do a little tutorial on that and interact uh, somehow on Facebook. I don't know. I'm having a very low connection right now. So if this is pixelating, please forgive me. Hey, Marlene, how are you? Uh, Maria, how are you? Oh, my God, good to see you. So the book is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. You can get a PDF of it anywhere online. Nine out of ten, it's going to be free. Um, you can buy it on Amazon for a buck, buck fifty. There's plenty. There's so many different versions of it, um, covers of it. The original book is the same. They don't. No one edits the original book. It's just tremendous. I read it probably a couple hundred times. It usually sits on my nightstand, and I was looking for it tonight. I couldn't find it. And it prompted me to do this one uh, little video. So I'm hoping that if there's any interest at all, uh, hi Marlene. If anyone wants to maybe participate in an interactive um, Q and A about it, uh, or you know, I don't know, we can we can do a Zoom cast with it, uh, and we can cover each chapter, maybe you know, one a week or even one a night. I, I mean, I'm I'm up I'm up to that. I don't care. It's fine. It is 13 chapters. Um, you can go on YouTube and um, look for Earl Nightingale. Look for an audio. It's a record of Earl Nightingale called the. Uh, uh, the Greatest Secret, and the, he he actually goes through the whole book. Um, I, I had the actual record of that. Uh, that's long since gone, but um, you know, it's an audio recording. It's a YouTube video uh, of him talking. It's amazing. There's so many resources out there that you could use for free that can help you change your mindset, help you change how you think. And this one book, uh, because now I'm like kind of desperate to find it, uh, it's going to sit on my mind now for a couple of days. So if anyone has any interest at all in interacting with me with it, um, I'd be more than happy to do so. You know, uh, you know, hit it, hit, hit in the comments here that you'd like to be a part of that. Maybe we can create a little Facebook group with that. Uh, I just might just do one chapter a night. Maybe spend ten or fifteen minutes on each chapter. Uh, you know, maybe type up some notes and we can PDF that back and forth. I don't know. There's a number of ideas. I just think it's so important that people change their mindset and take advantage of the economy that exists today. If you know that you can accomplish something and you have the tools to do it and the tools being right here, then there's not a one of you. There's not a one of you that can't change your circumstances just like that. Uh, we stand ready to help in any way that we can. Uh, we, we have a number of things that we're doing right now, and uh, I personally will uh, you know, take you by the hand and lead you through the field if you want me to. So uh, hope this helps a little bit. Hope you're getting a little bit out of this. Um, if you've never heard of the book, now you have. There's no excuse. Go get it. Go buy it. Download it. And uh, shoot me a text. Shoot me a message that you might want to you know, get involved with studying it with me again. I think it's that important. You're never too old to learn. I'm certainly not too old to earn, so I'll learn. So with that, I'm going to wish you a great night. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Tomorrow is Friday. Uh, some of you think, thank God it's Friday. It's, it's great. Um, the weekend is upon us. And uh, up here in the Northeast, uh, I heard the weather is supposed to be pretty good. Uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe we'll hit the wineries this weekend. We'll see. So God bless all of you. And uh, everyone have a good night. Hey, Christine. How are you? Andrew. Hey, Tom. Um, hey, look. It, again, if you're just jumping on this, if you're watching it as a replay, put replay in the comments. I'm just curious how many people watch these videos. Um, and again, shoot me an inbox if you want to get involved in a Think and Grow Rich uh, you know, group where we can participate and maybe learn from each other. Love you guys. Have a good night.